uh, I whole thing was interesting. And I thought Gamergate was somewhat interesting, even though, as you know, I have zero sympathy for, for adults playing video games. And when I look at these video games, I'm like, yeah, that probably should be bad. <laughs> to be honest. Remember, you <laughs> like, and play your Frisbee. <laughs> right, right. Go. <laughs> Our boomer Throw a frisbee. Yeah. The only video game you should play is chess uh, online. That is civilized. But uh, yeah. But anyway, I kind of I Gamergate. I I was a passing spectator to Gamergate because uh, basically it was an anti. It, it became an anti-feminist crusade. Although even though it was never able to articulate that, uh, it became a, You know, we want ethics and journalism or something, which is obviously the limpest thing you can suggest but it was a reaction against sjw's and 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 feminist and this attack on what was a kind of man child culture which is you know playing violent video games which you know i'm not really a fan of but um i i think i was actually on with mike enoch uh i think this is back in 2017 and he actually said this it was like it, it was almost this young men saying but 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 let me have my false degenerate culture you know let me you know you're you're going to take away even this why are you even taking away my false opposition you know which video games are i mean it's a it's a you're indulging in a fantasy where you're you know conquering countries and shooting people and you know i guess in uh what is that uh grand theft auto raping and murdering hookers and throwing them in the trunk of your car yeah. all good all great you know good clean it, fun uh, it, <laughs> but for, for men to live out their their vic or their fantasies vicariously through characters and games and you know right. i think really speaks to how bored and and stagnant we are as a society we have the warrior spirit in us and we want right. to be they're doing great things, living these epic lives, and we're stuck in our homes. We're stuck in our little cages, flicking through TV, you know, and it's, it's just not there. It's not available. But we them. should support the alt right should, should support banning video games because the left should actually promote Grand Theft Auto on steroids. Because what it does is that it allows young men to live out uh, a, a, a parodic version of manhood and basically to do nothing. So all you have to do is sit on your couch and you can go conquer countries, re refight the civil war and rape and murder hookers, you know, uh, and, but, it, but you actually don't do anything in the real world. So the left should actually support video games. And in fact, they should make them more degenerate and violent uh, because that will increase the passivity of the young male population. The alt-right should be in favor of banning of all video games make and actually we should go further and we should make all video games uh feminist uh extreme feminism so basically the the video game will be you have to ask permission to kiss girls and they just say no all the time that that's like you keep going up levels and you keep not getting laid <laughs> that should be the only video games allowed and basically it's a it's just a you know you have heroic versions of purple haired sjw's conquering nazis and things like that so it, we basically want these video games to turn off as many young men as possible uh so that they will turn on uh to something that's actually real and i'm actually serious about this I, <laughs> see we're, we're not uh, we're not coming after the books or doing anything we just want to burn the video games that's that's the, exactly. uh, <laughs> burn the video big games. piles of uh sony's and xbox's everywhere I, I think ideally if people can use them as a reward hit the gym play an hour of video games read a book right play a half an hour of video games or something right. everything in small doses hey uh it's it's similar to drinking or whatever right so yeah. um but at the same time I, I think it's really the only outlet for people to have any sort of sort of adventure or competition and men want to compete they want to be adventurous and right. it's just unfortunate that they have that easy outlet and then w within society i mean even sports there's this kind of like plastic nature to it where where you go out and perhaps you're playing with some buddies or whatever but it's still very safe there's no real meaning to it i think men yeah. especially you know european men we want objective purpose or it seemingly objective purpose in what we do so yeah i think video games just kind of uh pacify that um but uh i, I don't know if, if you want to move on i was thinking maybe we could uh discuss stephen yeah. crowder he would be a great Ooh, one to get let's, into let's talk about the whole mile of